Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm so happy to be here with you guys. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Thank you for clicking on this video. I am so happy to be back <laughs> again with you. I feel like I've taken two vacations in the same month, but I really needed them. I've been feeling kind of low and now I'm ready. I'm ready for this week. I am wishing you all a beautiful Monday and I hope that you guys feel amazing every single day this week ahead. Let's see what messages are showing up for Pisces. As usual, this is our little bit of a hangout here. Quite romantic this time around. I'm recording this on Sunday night, so it's posted on Monday morning. So by the time you're watching this, it's, you know, probably Monday. <laughs> Alright, Universe, Angels, Archangels, Ascended Masters of Little Light, please bring in all of the most relevant information for the Pisces Collective. The most important information that Pisces Collective needs to hear at this time. I've missed you guys. Ooh. Alright, so first card showing up here, we've got the Queen of Swords. So Pisces, you could be dealing perhaps with an air sign at this time, maybe. Could be dealing perhaps with a Leah, Leah, <laughs> Libra, or Leo, which is not an air sign, but sort of got in there. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some of you guys could be right now really seeing things as they are. Not sugarcoating anything, really trying hard not to sugarcoat anything. Not to see anything through rose-colored glasses. If there is a temptation, an illusion, to be a little bit more positive than you should, a little idealistic, a little dreamy, it seems like you yourself are the first person to cut that out, okay? Because it could be disempowering for you to be acting from a space of fantasy, a perspective that's fueled by fantasy instead of reality. It can, it can disempower you. So, you know, the Queen of Swords, she's kind of bitchy. She's not like the sweetest, kindest, most loving character in the tarot. She's the one that says, you know, it is what it is. And this is how it is. <laughs> and she expresses herself very bluntly, very clearly, objectively. Her communication and her thought patterns just are this way. And Pisces, I think that this may have something to do with, um, what is it, Neptune that is going retrograde? I am obviously not an astrologer, so um, I'm not sure how the thing works. But I think it's Neptune going retrograde that brings in some clarity. And I sort of feel like this is associated with that a little bit, like bursting all of the bubbles that are not real, accurate, factual reflections of reality. And instead just sort of like seeing what really is and acting, making decisions and, you know, moving forward from a space of clarity and objectivity. In your environment, you've got the King of Swords as a challenge position. So maybe you're not the only one here, Pisces, that wants to see things clearly. Maybe you have been already dealing with someone who has been in this energy for quite some time. Maybe they have been strongly, strongly, um, sort of like promoting this point of view to a point in which maybe they show themselves as emotionless or cold, harsh, because they were just not going to allow any of the fantastical, dreamy, but not real energy to settle in, okay? So you may have already been dealing with a person like this. And it's like you're on board with their perception. If their perception was seeing things exactly as they are, you know, no pink color, colored glasses at all, 
and they would try to convince you to see things in that very harsh light. It seems like you're in the same boat now. It's like you are seeing things clearly and honestly and openly and not idealistically in any way. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this person can have very, very positive aspects, but also certain attitudes that you don't necessarily like. Maybe they take it a little bit too far. Seven of Pentacles in the recent past. I see. Someone here working on their lives, their desires, the things that they want for themselves. And I see them being very patient in the past because it has taken for fucking ever, or so it seems. And maybe that has something to do with why the decisions that are being made right now are so mental, so strategic, so clear so precise, so unemotional. This could look something like... Um, this could be something like, okay, a partnership, a marriage, in which one person is like, hey, but what if we move and we go to live at this very beautiful place and it could be so wonderful and we can take this risk and it will definitely pay off, you know, it will be great. And then the other person is like, do you know how long it has taken me to be where I am right now? So I'm not going to risk anything at all. And we have, we actually have to go this way to this place because that is where there is security and stability and clarity and everything is already set. You know, it's like that very dream-inspired energy uh, versus like that super factual, like, safety, objectivity energy. And this could be sort of like two people clashing, but ultimately getting on the same, on the same boat, though. It's like if there's two people here, one that's very analytical, one that's very cold intellectual, strategic, and the other one who's very like romantic and idealistic, um, there's going to be a balancing of those energies. And the person that is very cold is going to allow some emotion to come in, which will, will be positive, you know. And the emotional person here will also see that very structured, very clear um, point of view that the other person has. And it seems like it's going to go well. It seems like they're, they're going to sort of tackle the next phase from a more of a complete perspective, you know? Because there's wish fulfillment here in your mind, Pisces. There's something that you want. I hope it's not getting too dark. There's wish fulfillment here. You're thinking about something that you want. You're thinking about a wish that you have asked upon a star. You're thinking about it, and you're trying to see it through those two lenses, you know? Is it in my head, because I'm being way too romantic and idealistic? Because you got the King of Cups, you got the Six of Cups, you got the Star. Someone here wants love, deep emotions, fulfillment, perhaps with a soulmate. This could be you, Pisces. This could be you. That could be the other person, too. Lots of, there's, there's a lot of emotions, but it's just like, they're not being given their place. Because if you open up fully, or that person opens up fully to their emotions, it seems as though it is um, going to be way harder, you know, way harder to get back into that objective perspective. But there's a lot of love here from one another. This could definitely be talking about a couple. It doesn't have to be. You know, take it as it resonates, Pisces. In the future, there is going to be, yeah, definitely a balancing here. And more communication than you expect. More, 
more emotions are going to be recognized and more communication is going to be coming in. Lots of messages back and forth, back and forth all day. Perhaps between two people who don't normally talk. There is going to be a deepening of a bond happening in a moment in which technically the opposite should be happening. So if you're physically distancing yourselves, if you are, because of the objectivity, breaking up something and you're supposed to be kind of like distancing, right? What's going to happen is actually the opposite. You're going to start talking more. You're going to be um, somehow more connected. Which is unexpected. Interesting. And that, that's because there's a lot of love. There's a lot of emotion here. Okay? With the Six of Cups here, this is a soulmate energy. This is a friend. This is a lover. This is someone who cares about you. And someone you really genuinely care about. In the environment, you may have someone who has had a rough life. Could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. But this person has been intensely taught to push their emotions down as a way to be safe. This is kind of like that um, toxic masculinity concept. Don't you dare say how you feel. Don't you dare open yourself to be vulnerable because that's a window that opens up for you to be hurt, for you to be manipulated, for you to be mocked, you name it. Someone here around you has a really hard time. It's not even that they have a hard time. It's that they will not allow their emotions to open space for... Their demise is what I'm hearing. I barely know what that word means. <laughs> there could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio person here um, that can actually help you go through your emotions. And if this is a romantic partnership, there could be a water sign that could actually be in the future for you romantically. That's not for all of you, but for some of you. In your hopes and fears, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. You know, in a way, I feel like the Queen of Pentacles or the Earth element sort of has a good amount of the logic and structure and stability and groundedness and responsibility aspects. And it also has... A little bit of the romanticism and the connection and the energy and the love and security and generosity and all these good feelings. So when I see this Queen of Pentacles here, I see that there's a hope for a balanced approach. You don't want your emotions to be dismissed. You don't want their emotions to be dismissed. You don't want any part of this process to be dismissed. There's a lot going on. Whatever it may be for you, it will be different for every single one of you. But it's like all of it should be recognized. You have the Six of Wands as the outcome card, Pisces. So this is victory. This is bright, bold, and loud victory. Okay, so if you have personal goals, if you have personal you know, projects, things, things that you're wanting to manifest. Uh, victory is assured here, okay? Especially if you have been battling something in a lot of different ways for a long time and it nothing seems to work and you have recently started a new approach, victory is assured, okay? Victory is assured for you, Pisces, if that resonates. If this is resonating with you and the fact that there's two people involved here, you know, honestly, I see that everyone here is going to achieve what they place as a priority. However, not all of the people um, listening to this video are going to be manifesting a romantic connection. Because I feel like maybe there are two people who have different goals. 
And those goals seem to be actually creating... I don't know how to like explain it, like... Well, I don't know, I'm a loss of words. <laughs> As you guys know, that doesn't happen often, so I'm just gonna trust it. <laughs> and I'm gonna let it be. Um, Cause you guys know that I can ramble and like say anything and I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to just, I don't know, consume, consume your time that way, I guess. This is a very mellow vibe. Oh. That's going on here with a little candle here. I mean, not in the darkness, but kind of, sort of. And I like it. <laughs> I'm liking it quite a bit. Um, but yeah, bottom line, Pisces, right now, um, value, objectivity, strategy, seeing things as they are, not as you want them to be. Value that. Try not to completely cancel out the emotional aspect of it all, but definitely take a responsible approach towards it. Remember how long it has taken for you to get to where you are, and therefore honor the commitment and the efforts that you feel like you need to do from this point on to keep yourself in this journey towards wish fulfillment and victory, okay? Maybe if you're dealing with another person, maybe this other person is not the most important thing, you know? Maybe it's kind of like a romantic love or all of your dreams and goals that you've been working on for forever. And you're probably going to choose yourself, Pisces. Maybe they're going to be choosing themselves, their own journey. And that's okay. That's okay. Love is not going anywhere. If there is um, a romantic connection here with the King of Cups and the Six of Cups, that love is never going to go away. No matter what happens to the physical, doesn't matter where life takes each of you, this is kind of like that love that just will be there <laughs> inside of you, like interstellar. You know, the crazy ass movie. Yeah. I should watch that again. Like, I watched that way before I could possibly understand it. So I probably should <laughs> try to see it now. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being here with me. I love you. I've missed you. I hope that this reading resonates. I hope that you have a beautiful Monday and week ahead. And I think that's that. I feel like I'm kind of rusty, like I forgot how to do readings. <laughs> I'm going to be probably um, taking advantage of this really nice lighting and doing the other dailies. So all of those are ready, scheduled, and waiting for you every single day when you wake up. I love you guys, to the moon and back, and I will see you on the next reading. Bye!